right hand and a scoring combination from Sanchez and a left hook land. First round action, final second of this first round. Six stocks in here to bring in this featherweight championship. 39 knockouts in his 42 victories. Good right hand from Sanchez again, Land. Lopez has yet to receive Tamani on February 16th. Sanchez is moving around real well away from the right hand, which is smart. And he's hurting Lopez. Good left hook by the unusual training regimen. Good Sanchez can't afford to make his trade punches with Lopez. Because that's when he can hurt you. Punch of the fight. We're in round two. Lopez coming on here near the end of round two. We're in the final second with Lopez landing the combination. The crowd coming to its feet. Of course, Lopez, one of the great training fighters, walked around and worked real hard training. He landed a right hand to the ear of Sanchez. Combination by Lopez scores. Right hand from Lopez. Sanchez can't let his Mexican hang out. Dominating the first two rounds. But Lopez did not go down. Lopez just had, but it just opened up. Tim Bryant, Angelo Dundee, Dick Stockton, and Phoenix. But Sanchez must have been listening because he started to move. He can't stay there with him. But Lopez is a dynamite puncher. Lopez is hurt for the first time. First time I see him get hurt. Lopez takes another combination. Another right hand from Sanchez. First four rounds with the champion taking most of the punishment. September with a third round knockout of Jose. Out of bad trouble, Tim. Best survival test of all time because this kid is hurt with every punch. Been able to land very few solid punches. This ain't yet. 30 seconds remaining in the fifth round. Sanchez lands with a right hand as the round comes to an end. Solid right hand from Sanchez. Sanchez That's right. Fighting. fighting a great fight. I'm moving it up right now. the possibility with the great champion Lopez. Not Jones earlier in that fight. But and Lopez is not going down. We're under a minute to go in round six. Get back to Salvador Sanchez. Now the referee one has given Lopez the okay to continue. The round timer has counted down, so we're depending on the official timekeeper. There were about 10 seconds left in the round, as we recall it from looking up, and Sanchez trying to finish off the champion. But I'll tell you, I don't like the way Sanchez got hit near the end of the round, Timmy. He got hurt with two punches, so he can't fight with Lopez. Lopez on the attack, somewhat desperately here in round seven, screaming from a cut in the corner of Sanchez's left eye. He's catching the right hand with the glove, the counter with his own right hand. Less than 30 seconds remaining in a combination from Sanchez for Evan White, 21 years of age. What a job he's doing. Where you're taking your licking, they don't do nobody no good. Championship is only luck. We'll be going to a station break. Yes, it is. That's, that's, I was more concerned about the left eye than the right eye, actually. Final second is really facing an uphill struggle against Salvador Sanchez. Well, yes, he is, and he's going to have to come out with everything he's got, but he's moving them around. The ninth round, doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. Come on, Look at him jab, coming out the... The kid, the kid is quite such a perfect fight, Sanchez. The ninth title defense for 27-year-old champion Danny Little Red Lopez. This is trade with him. 
that could, he could lose the fight easily. Sports Spectacular, three more fights. Coming up, February 16th, Marvin Hagler and Lucy Tamani. That's the next one. We'll be back with the 10th round here in a moment. He's given only two to Lopez. Sanchez scoring with a combination. Tough pace like he's going with Lopez is a big difference fighting 12 with some other guy. Perfect condition. Couldn't be better. He's ready to go 15. Straight. Lopez keeps that left hand flash with Davis is a smart match picker. The five star promotion really come up with a great show. That is for sure. And he is ranked number one by the W. Bad looking all night long. He's got to go and try to gamble and go for broke. Oh, round 10. Another combination scoring from Sanchez. Under 30 seconds, he takes a short. Lopez is starting to get hurt with those shots, Tim. Now. Tenth round, Danny Lopez, the featherweight champion, Salvador Sanchez, the challenger. Fifteen round championship fight. Lucy Tamani from Portland, Maine. February 20. As long as Sanchez keeps moving either side of Lopez, the first time he goes straight back, Tim, he's going to get nailed with a right hand shot. If he goes straight back, he's going to get hit. Right hand lead. Right-hand lead from Sanchez, Tapatoga. Sanchez with Lopez in his corner, in the Sanchez corner, trying to finish him here. Look at that juncture slug. Lopez has been the distance before. This is a lot to ask of a 21 to be moving like he's doing, doing what he's doing. Now he's trying to lay a little bit, rest a little bit. He can't do that. Instead of hurt Sanchez or set him back. Hurt Lopez with a great left hook, Tim. He knew it, and he's on the attack. Lopez is covering up well, however, on the ropes. That's the first time in a long time I've seen Lopez move away with a slugging match against the ropes. He usually twice stopped the fight momentarily to have those cuts examined. Back in round six and seven. I don't think the cut is of any substance, Tim, because it's in a, an area where it's not... see the right hand coming actually Tim. Good point because he just took another one and we yeah, had a good look at it. can't see it coming. That eye nearly closed. Danny Lopez's left eye. He's got trouble looking from that eye. And this kid's smart enough to take advantage of it. He is hurt, isn't he? He's hurt. Sanchez, the referee's going to stop it. The referee's going to stop it. That's it. Hurry again. See if we can pick out that one key punch. That one hurt him. The right hand did the whole job, Tim. Was that punch indeed? Because it backed up Lopez. The referee Smith did a good job saying head champion Salvador Sanchez, 21 years of age from Mexico City. In the last fight, Lopez in the red trunks are on the left, tried to throw the knockout punch. He lost the bout in the 13th round. It was, uh, well, it's memorable. Good punch on the forehead thrown by Sanchez in the black trunks on the far side. Lopez is noted to be a slow starter, and he just caught a right hand on the chin. The referee does not take part in the scoring the fight. A good left hook by Little Red Lopez. Shaken off by Sanchez, the champion, and they exchange solid shots. We said it would be a crowd pleaser. We're looking now if there is a cut over the left eye of Salvador Sanchez, the champion, up against the ropes, and look at those exchanges. Solid punches, both flat-footed. Trying to end it early, and a good left hook thrown by Little Red Lopez. But he just took two shots, a right and a left. Another left jab. Seat sold here at the Sports Pavilion, Caesars Palace, a rematch, former champion in red. On the left, bombing away. That was probably the best first round that Lopez has had in a long time. Notoriously slow, but he's being caught with the right-hand leads now. Much too often. Solid punches. Danny still trying to unload that right hand, the knockout punch. The champion Sanchez has only one loss and a draw in a brilliant career. A glancing right hand thrown by Sanchez on the right. Another one and a left hook. Toe to toe slugging by both featherweights. Sanchez, the 22-year-old champion, started in 75. 
Groving to that midsection, trying to get those hands down. The champion Sanchez. Look at his. There have been no knockdowns. The only uh, mark is, oh, a tremendous right hand. And Sanchez now is beginning to land punches from long range. Good stiff left jab by Lopez. Oh, he walked right into a right hand lead. And now backing away is Lopez. Body punch right to the solar plexus, thrown by Lopez. Ten point must, ten to the winning fight of the round, nine or less to the loser. Again, poised, but hard with the right hand. Many here. in this bout as we are in the fourth round of a scheduled 15 round of the champion who is clever in the black trunks is taking more punches than he did in their first fight two best punches by little red but look at the champion fight back now sanchez is the champion they're bombing away beautifully as if now i am the champion i'm going to try to knock you out there was a good right hand fight not Leonard's type. Good, solid, short punches. Hoping to land that right hand. But he gets caught with a left hook. The right. Roundhouse. Missing. Barely missing. We'll return with more of ABC Featherweight Championship. Champion of the Black Trucks landing. Going back to the corner after the fifth round. He's absorbed a lot of punches. To the speed of the champion Sanchez he's trying to end it right here in round six but Danny survived well we have about a minute and 40 seconds remaining Not knock him down in their first match another one vision of the opponent good body punch by Lowe between the gloves a left hook another one Good digging by Lopez. Oh. Tremendous reflexes, the part of Salvador Sanchez. Look at those quick hands. Accurate, flurry puncher, combination, searching. Trying to successfully defend his title for the second time. Oh. Give and take. Coming up, br pure brawl. They'll get a much needed 10 seconds. Oh, unbelievable condition. See with that head and body movement causing Lopez to miss. Oh, right hand lead followed by a left. Countering. I saw two great ones last night from Montreal, and you can see them on ABC's Wide World of Sports, July 19th. Duran Leonard. Look at a rest. And here you see the offense. Right hand lead low because he isn't even breathing heavily. Most fighters do. But this has been nonstop condition of Lopez well we're really impressed what punching oh, a right and a left Sanchez shook it off another good one coming up to the last 15 seconds of the 11th round Last bout, title bout, was stopped in the 13th. As we said, we're in the 12th. Good left hand from Mexico, Harold Buck from Las Vegas. Two exchange. If you've just joined us, we're in the 12th round. Why? 
one of the two have haven't look at those combinations oh Lopez taking it or yelling little red and go 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 out of range and then comes back with right hand leads there have been no knockdowns and there is one of the great right hands took it left hook by Sanchez four fighters two welterweights and now here this afternoon two featherweights being beaten to the punch now oh and there Lopez is the champion and that is all 14th round it went into the 14th round Sanchez Lopez wanted to continue and here you here you see why no defense Mills Lane, great job for the referee. Well, it was just too much. Youth has been served. And after tremendous punishment, wisely, Miles Lane, 105.